In this video, we're going to talk about the Rome Agent Alec, which is Alec Ostrang's Pro model. It's part of their RK1 series of boards. Now, if you don't know who Alec is, you're blowing it. The Agent is just a board that's a throwback. It's been in their line forever. And while this year the regular Agent is gone, you still have that remnants of it with the Agent Alec. This board features Rome's Stay Positive Rocker, which is traditional camber. They had to change the name of traditional camber to remarket it to people. So from contact point to contact point, there's an arc, and that's what you load and wait to drive the board at the contact points. Basically, this camber profile will have snap and pop to it, and you're going to steer it out at the contact points. It's feeling very redundant to have to keep talking about traditional camber. Don't you agree, John? Oh yeah, see, he even agrees with me. This board is available in All right, so you love the Rome agent, but all that's left is the Alec Ostrang model and you don't ride like him. I, I don't ride like him either, so don't feel like this review is based off how that riding is. I, I don't. But what I do know is this board is a true quiver of one, all mountain freestyle flex. You got a little bit of play in the tips and then it stiffens up through the middle with a decent amount of torsional flex that really lets you just twist this board. It's playful in the tips and stable underfoot, which is the best way to categorize the stability of this board. You're gonna notice chatter at high speeds in the nose and the tail. It's gonna flutter a little bit, but it doesn't resonate back underfoot, causing that leg fatigue. You will feel the variations in the snow and you might get bucked around from time to time, but overall, this board does a decent job at dampening the ride and still remaining very lively and playful. This board has a ton of snap and rebound into it. When you load it up, you're going to feel this board just want to launch you afterwards. It's one of those decks that while it's easy to engage and load up, it rebounds very aggressively, which makes it great for hitting jumps. And if you know how Alec rides, you understand that he kills it on jumps. This board can handle anything from small to large. It's decent in the mini pipe. It's solid on quarter pipes. It's just a very well-rounded board for going off transitions, whether they're jumps or quarter pipes or half pipes. It sucks up the lip and it pops. There's a ton of response on this board. It just feels at home in the air. All right, so how does this board butter and jib? Well, there's great sweet spots in the tip and the tail that really let you press into it. You can be aggressive with this board when you're buttering or jibbing because it's got snap and response. It's not enough that it's gonna fight you, but it's there. It's present and it will let you know that if you need it, you can utilize it. I did notice from time to time that the pointy tip in the nose would catch when I was buttering and kind of spin me around. Yeah, this would happen when I'd have my weight way over the tip and be driving into the snow. If it would hit something a little firmer, it would just kick me around. I didn't experience that when I was jibbing, which was nice to know that it didn't really hang up. Overall, this board can jib and butter with ease. And if you know what you're doing, you're gonna be able to lock it in. If you don't, well, there's other boards in the Rome lineup that might suit you more. This is a board you can carve on, and it doesn't matter if you're being mellow and just doing long drawn out S turns from one side of the trail to the other, or tight, quick, hard carves going into a feature, or railing a Euro carve. It does them all with ease. There's a rebound and snap out of the tail that when you load this board up into a carve, you can slingshot it out, roll it over on edge, get back in, and then slingshot it back out. It's got a very smooth edge to edge transmission. It doesn't fight you. It doesn't feel hooky, even though it is traditional camber. Basically, if you're a park guy that wants traditional camber in a board that you can ride outside the park, here you go. This is it. Now, the Rome agent in the past has been that true quiver of one. And while it has split to the national and the Marshall, this is still a solid option and it's gonna have a unique shape to it. This is a quiver of one type of board. This is for the guy that's gonna do it all on one deck, from the powder to the park and everything in between. I had a lot of fun riding this board. It's solid. It's probably one of the better pro model boards that I've ridden for 2018. So why don't you check it out? Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like this video. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification. And 
I'll see you guys in another video. If you've been enjoying all these product reviews and you haven't been buying through our affiliate program, which is down there, why don't you check out our Patreon? This is a great way for you to get involved with us. There's some great rewards on there and it helps fund us so we can do more product reviews for you guys that enjoy what we're doing.